Today I want to tell you about phosphate. A radical phosphate is formula is PO4. In this phosphate, here one atom of phosphorus is combined with four atom of oxygen. And phosphorus its electronic configuration is like this. It has got 15 electrons all, all together in its different cell. In first cell, it has got two electrons. In second cell, there is eight and remaining five in outermost cell, that is third cell. This way, 15 electrons are distributed in the phosphorus. Now, in case of oxygen, look at this, oxygen has got eight electrons and it is distributed this way. First orbit contains two electrons and remaining six in second electron. It means this is the valence electron of phosphorus and this is the valence electron of oxygen. Now, how they are combined with each other in phosphate? I will tell you about their combination in phosphate. One atom of phosphorus and four atom of oxygen. Here we have five valence electron and here we have six valence electron. Each of the oxygen contains six valence electron. Now uh, this phosphorus, the five electrons it share with oxygen. Let's say two is shared here and two is shared here and remaining one is shared here. Here it is shared, here two, here two and here one. Now what happened? As a result of this sharing, what is seen? This oxygen atom has got eight electrons in the outermost cell, octet formed. This also formed octet. But in this case, still one electron is needed needed that's why i'm writing minus one here also two electrons are needed to fulfill the outermost cell to form octet here also one one here also two it means altogether it requires three electrons and since it requires three electrons to fulfill the outermost cell so its valency is three and requirement of three electron means it is negative this way we can declare that valency of phosphate is 3 and it is negative it means it requires electrons to fulfill the outermost cell of this oxygen and phosphorus okay this much for today